Hello and a warm welcome on what is a glorious night for football. Perfect playing conditions. I'm Derek Ray and sharing commentary with me as usual is Stuart Robson. And with the game just moments away now, this really ought to be a superb watch. It's Qatar versus Croatia. Well, thanks, Derek, as always. The scene is set, two good teams, a great playing surface and a vibrant atmosphere. It has all the ingredients for a really exciting game. And here's the Qatar starting 11. Well, it's a defensive lineup, that's for sure. But their wing backs and at least one of their midfield players will need to break forward when they regain possession, just to give them a threat going forward. Now, let's see what they can do here. Well, the supporters think it's on. Goalkeeper in charge of the situation. Well, they won't get too many opportunities today, so they have to capitalise from set pieces like this. He's driven in the corner. And that is a defender doing his job, clearing it off the line. Thwarting him... And the referee has pointed to the spot. A penalty it is, and a chance for them to forge ahead. Well, no card, just a warning, and a fair few protestations. Well, not every foul is a yellow card. I think the referee is right here. Can he make it 1-0? And the keeper denies them from the spot. Well, throughout his long career, Luka Modric has always had the ability to dictate the rhythm of a game. Stuart, what do you anticipate seeing from him in this match? Well, the best players can play in tight areas, and he can certainly play in tight areas, in and around the box. His creativity is excellent. Playing little one-twos, balls round the corner, linking up with other teammates, just to have that little bit of penetration. He's going to be key to breaking down this defence. Libaya. Brozovic. Still level here, but the pressure escalating. But then the commentator's curse comes into play. A foul, but advantage played. Hassan Alhaidos. Space afforded him. And a significant block following that cross. Brozovic. Here's Kovacic. Plenty of players waiting in the middle. Kramaric. Nicely timed tackle. Houdiaf. Can they trouble the opposition this time? Modric. Oh, big chance. In it goes. But it will not stand. Offside, Stuart. Well, it looked close, didn't it? He certainly thought so. He's making that clear to the linesman now. Modric. Can he put them in front? Oh no, he's missed the 
opportunity and they remain level. Well, he just lacked composure there, didn't he? They should be ahead now. Ali. Excellent use of the ball as they make their way forward. But a good piece of defending to bring it to an end. Well, as you can see, the visitors have had most of the ball. But unless they start passing it with more penetration, they'll struggle to win this game, which will be a major disappointment. No worries for the keeper. Well, there is going to be stoppage time, but only the one minute. A chance then for the respective managers to address their charges. It is half-time here. Well, truth be told, he's only had a very limited influence on this game, Stuart. Well, I wouldn't say he's pulled up any trees today. He just hasn't affected the game. He's looked slightly off the pace, both with and without the ball. And now they get the ball rolling. Now, let's see what they can do here. Goalkeeper in charge of the situation. Well, they won't get too many opportunities today, so they have to capitalise from set... Modric. Oh, big chance. In it goes. But it will not stand. Offside, Stuart. Well, it looked close, didn't it? Oh, no! He's missed the opportunity! And they remain level. Well, he just lacked composure there, didn't he? They should... So back underway and an intriguing second half in prospect. Marco Libaya takes the shot. Well, no degree of difficulty for the goalkeeper. Mateo Kovacic. Kramaric. And here's Brozovic. Oh, what's he gone and done? And quite simply, a wonderful chance was squandered. Andre Kramaric. And giving the ball away. Afif. Abdulaziz Hatem. Might take the lead. Marvellous anticipation. Afif. Almoez Ali with a textbook interception. Modric. Oh, that's a pass of high quality. Look at Modric. And a goal! Just when we wondered if this might finish nil-nil. There it is. They're in front. Well, here's the goal again, and it's a great ball to put him through. Good vision to set up the chance, and when he gets onto it, he decides to go for power. 
It's a really emphatic finish, which gives the keeper no chance. Well, a dramatic moment near the end, and that might well be the decider. Well, we're inside the final quarter of an hour now. Hassan Alhaidos. And players waiting in the centre. Well, the threat was very real. Marvellous defending. Perisic. Luka Modric. And in with a real chance. And another one. Two quick goals. Will it turn out to be the two-punch knockout? Well, as the replay shows us, Modric picks out the pass to beat that defensive line and his movement's so clever. Once he gets onto it, there's only one thought in his head. Smash it as hard as possible. What a good goal. Two nil now, and back underway. Well, this could pose problems for the defenders. Well, it was easy on the eye, but the interception was made. Well, slightly off target. And that'll be a throw-in. There has been plenty of limbering up from substitutes. And now both sides will make personnel switches. We've had the official word. There will be a minimum of two added minutes. And so the referee blows for full time. And it goes down as a victory for the visitors. Well, fairly comfortable in the end, wasn't it? thought they controlled the middle of the park well going forward there was some really nice incisive play too it's a good result for them Luka Modric tends to bring a calm authority to any game how would you sum up what he produced 